Welcome to this episode of PCH TV. I'm Emma Reckenberg. And I'm Austin Dubinsky. From APR to Spring Sports, we bring you the latest news here at Parkway Central. On March 6th, three Central students competed in a cooking contest sponsored by Kendall College. Let's see how they fared in the competition. Cooking is something not everyone can do. Resident top chefs Nick Seriati and Brian Peoples competed in a cook-off for Parkway on March 6th. Let's see how they did. Uh, well, first we did uh, knife cutting skills, which is like the basic of like the claw and uh, how to hold the knife. And then they described and showed, demonstrated how like uh, to cook the food, um, some of the things that we were making. Uh, we had to make that in under uh, an hour and played it, and then they uh, judged us. They told us what we did good and what we should uh, work on, and um, it's a great experience. Uh, we did not win first or second, but no matter no matter if you win or lose, it's still fun doing it. Well, it shows how, uh, especially in later years when uh, you're at a restaurant or you're owning a restaurant, um, how fast pace you need to be and how you have to work together as a team. I love cooking so I said why not give this a chance. Brian Peoples plans to attend culinary school next fall. This has been Austin Dubinsky for PCH TV. I never thought that cooking could be so competitive. Well, speaking of competition, spring sports are underway. PCH TV brings you the latest scoop. Our expectations for this season would definitely be to beat Parkway South this year because last year we beat North and West, so if we beat Parkway South, we'd be the best Parkway school. Um, being a senior, I have the most experience um, playing soccer at Parkway Central, so um, just I know the routines, and I was on varsity last year, so I know how Coach Theo works, so just being a leader by um, just representation and just working hard. I hope to score a goal this season because last season I didn't get the opportunity to, so one or more would be best. Uh, this year we should be pretty good. Um, we lost a lot from last year, but we uh, all other teams also lost a lot, so we have a pretty good chance in every game. But I mean, all we have to do is take first, second, and this year to make it to quarterfinals. So hopefully we'll be able to do it again. My expectations for this team this season would be to work together, work on our defense strategies, um, and just win as many games as we can. We won four last year. We'll get more than that this year. My personal goals would be to block at least 50% of goals as the goalie. Uh, I'd like to get, last year I had 227 saves. So for this year, I expect to win a few games in districts and hopefully beat our rivals, Parkway North, and have a great year. Have fun. Well, we lost a few good players last year, but the seniors are really stepping up this year and we'll have a good team. I hope to not get hurt for the whole year and I hope to be able to hit 400 this year. Spring sports always makes me think about the end of the school year and summer, and that means going on vacation. Some people are lucky enough to travel to faraway paradises. We asked Central students if they had a yacht, what would they name it? If I had to name a boat, I would name it Princess because I would treat it like one. <laughs> the Flying Squirrel. Deep Blue. Hey, if I had a boat, I would name it Becca. <laughs> and I would name mine Alex. <laughs> Whoa. Teddy. Big Wood. My boat name would be Lucky Jack because my grandfather's name was Jack. The Human Experience. There were definitely some interesting ones in there. What would you name your yacht, Austin? Puzzles. Let me guess. Another How I Met Your Mother reference? Of course. Those episodes are a work of art. Well, you may have noticed some other works of art on the walls of school. Those were all done by Miss Steffenbaugh's AP art students. We caught up with some of these aspiring artists. For those of you who have never been in an art class, you may not realize just how much work it takes to create an incredible piece. I spoke with several students about what they like most about AP art. It's like getting to express yourself in different ways and really having like a community of all artists that you can like bounce ideas off of and really think like about your work. Well, probably the people, uh, especially after our trip to Washington DC, everyone just got really close and I feel like really connected to all the girls. We all just like really get along and try to share ideas with each other and like critique and make each other's projects like the best that 
they can be like by bouncing ideas off of each other and it's just like a lot of fun. You may wonder what it means to be an AP art student. Miss Deffenbaugh fills us in. Once you get into AP, you have developed your techniques um, to a certain extent, um, being able to draw and also developing your innovative and creative thoughts. And so it's really putting the two together, um, still emphasizing technique, but really letting their artist voice um, be heard and seen. The curriculum consists of six concentrations outside of school and a variety of in-class projects. These students shared what inspires them to push through the hard work and the late nights. Other people's artwork, I love going to museums and seeing famous paintings. Those definitely make me strive harder. I mean, my art teacher, Miss Steffenbaugh, inspires me. My classmates inspire me. Vintage and antique things inspire me. Color, I like yeah, really using color in my artwork and displaying mood really and yeah. um, emotion through color. Pretty much like everything. <laughs> like everything that comes into my environment. With many years of experience of their own, these students offer advice for aspiring artists. Just really experiment with a lot of different things because sometimes you won't think that you're good at art and then you try something else and you, it really clicks. Push beyond your boundaries and take people's advice. Don't be afraid to kind of throw like some weird ideas out there because you can always turn it into something like that will actually happen. Those definitely took some skill. I could never even come close to creating art like that. Tell me about it. I could be artistic too if I didn't have so much homework. I've been hearing everybody say that lately. Wait until you hear what some teachers hear come out of their students. Wasn't my fault. What's up, bruh? I didn't know I had homework. Can I go to the vending machine? Um, usually with essays, it's I don't know what to write about or what should I write about. Ugh, I'm so tired. Check out my swag, bruh! And I don't get it. I don't understand. Awkward. I've definitely heard some of those on several occasions. Well, that's it for this episode of Peace HTV. I'm Austin Dubinsky. And I'm Emma Rackenberg. Look out for us, and you could be on the next episode of Peace HTV.